What's up, big last niggas? This your boy, Jay Miles, and I'm back with another video. And you know what to do. If you're new, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, leave a like, comment, and let me know what you're thinking. But more importantly, make sure you share it with your ugly ass friends. On today's video, I will be covering Power Book 2, Season 4. This is my predictions video. And pretty much I did a poll asking you guys if you prefer me to do a long video covering all of the characters or would you prefer me to break them all up and do them individually now judging by the poll majority of you said one long video so um what i decided to do is i'm going to do this video which is going to be slightly long and it's going to cover all mm -hmm. of the characters and i'm going to just pretty much give my quick thoughts prediction on whether they're going to live or die and you know and just quickly go through and get, and prep you up for the video when I'm going to break down the whole character so I'm I'm kind of like doing both and yes I know I've been out a while had got tied up again like I told y'all I had to be doing other work but for those of y'all that still you know fool with me i appreciate you but you know without further ado let's go ahead and get into the video so first i'll read the synopsis of the season which reads season four will find Tariq and brayden weston forming new alliances and finding a way back into the game but when Braden starts flirting with a new, reckless lifestyle. Tariq wonders if there really is room for two at the top. Meanwhile, Monet may have met her match as Effie attempts to secure a legit future and plans her exit out of the game. Davis is still reeling over his brother's death, recent suspension, and pending disbarment while he devils headfirst into the criminal side of his business. Diana and Drew question their roles in the family business as Kane seizes a chance at a promotion with Norma's network. While he finds her while she finds her footing establishing her enterprise in the US, she struggles to keep watch over her daughter Anya, who now have the attention of Tariq and Brayden. For Tariq, he must reconcile with his past as the fate of his future hangs in limbo. So that's the synopsis that we were given. And you if you ask me, that alone tells us so much. Like I, it kind of gives us, you know, a lot of what to, you know what I'm saying, look forward to and what's gonna be going on. So judging by what the synopsis gave us the teaser trailer. I'm going to give me very quick thoughts on each character. And um, I put down pretty much all of the main characters, you know what I'm saying, together that I feel like, you know, that's actually relevant. I mean, of course, you know you have a lot of small characters and stuff, but I'm only dealing with the major characters that, you know, actually really matters. So I kind of put them in order from least, you know what I'm saying? The, the least amount of ones that holds the less weight all the way up to, you know what I'm saying, the top. So first, we have your girl Lauren. Now Lauren, I know, you know, at the end of season three, it shows her leaving with her family, right? Now... There's no real confirmation that Lauren is even going to be in, you know what I'm saying, this season. She may not show up at all, but I just had to put her in there because she is a major character. And I do see a future of her, even if she's not in this particular season. Let's say she doesn't show up in season four. I do believe there's going to be another spinoff that may show something different. But that's, you know what I'm saying, that's, that's, I'm going to do that in the Lauren, Lauren Barron breakdown video. So stay tuned for that. Um, so next you got um, your boy Michael Ely. 
I actually kind of forgot his. I think his name is Detective Carter on the show, if I'm not mistaken. So, you know, we haven't really been given too much information on, you know what I'm saying, what his character do. It says he, you know, he's a character that his, um, his wife was killed in the crossfire of a gang-related shootout. And that he, you know, he's pretty much bowing to take down the people that was responsible for it. So that kind of gives us enough to know what he's going to be into. But I'm going to tell y'all one thing. One thing's for certain, two things for not, for sure is that when Michael Ely show up, somebody wife getting fucked. So all I'm saying is, <laughs> I don't know if it's going to be Monet, if it's going to be Tasha, or whoever it's going to be. He clapping somebody's cheeks. I don't know who it is. And he, who knows, he might have to do that to get closer to them to get to what, he, what his real goal is. I'm not exactly sure. But come on now. It, I'm going to tell y'all, it's a couple people in the world, a list of celebrities and stuff like that, who I won't allow around my girl. I'm not married now, but let's say I do get married. If these are if certain people that, that can't be near my wife, Michael Ely is one of them. You feel me? <laughs> like, don't come over me there by us with that, oh, how you doing? Y'all look like a lovely couple. Get away from me, you glad, nigga. We be good. We don't need you telling us. Go on away from us with that perfect guy shit, you glad, nigga. <laughs> but anyways, next, you get to your boy, um, well, your boy Celine. Now, Celine, this ugly ass nigga. And by the way, when I say ugly ass nigga, of course, of course, um, if you follow my first channel, I kind of you know explain what it is. But you know, you got two types of ugly ass niggas. Actually, it's a lot of them, but it's two major types of ugly ass niggas, right? You got the physically ugly ass niggas, such as your Flavor Flays of the world, who's like an iconic, universally known ugly ass nigga. Or your boy Welvin the Great, you know, got he, that that glad nigga. Them, them yo real, you know what I'm saying, physically ugly ass nigga. Then you got ugly ass niggas for the ugly ass shit they do. Like killing people and, you know what I'm saying, setting people up. Doing ugly ass shit like that. People such as Ronnie from, you know what I'm saying, um, Raising Canaan. Or if you watch BMF, you got Lamar. Them two ugly ass niggas, but they ugly as hell for the shit they do. But this nigga Celine, I think he under, he, in my opinion, this nigga falls under the flavor flavor level. Cause come on, man, y'all could have gave dying to somebody better than that. Come on, in my ugly head, look at him. In my face, long as hell, his head big as fucking neck, long as hell. The man look like plankton from Ed, Ed, and Eddie. But anyway, ugly ass nigga, you know, in my opinion, oh yeah, real quick, sorry about this. I I got to do the predictions whether or not the people die or not because that's what I'm supposed to be covering in this video. So I'm so sorry. Really quick, I'm going to just go back. Lauren, if she was to show up this season, I say she has a, in my opinion, 3% chance of dying. I think she survived the series and it's no question, in my opinion. So very little percent chance of dying. Then we'll go straight to, uh, back to um, Detective Carter or Michael Ely. I think he dies this season. I think he's going to put in some work, but I do think he ultimately will die. So I, I'm going to give him his chance of dying. Honestly, I'm going to say 85%. And then back to uh, Celine. So I think with him, really quickly, um, he's going to be very annoying and aggravating. And in my opinion, I think he also dies this season because it ain't no room left for this ugly nigga. I mean, what other story does this ugly nigga got left? It is one other possibility that I think his um, a direction where his story could go and make him survive a little longer. So with that being said, I'll just put him at maybe 70%, give him a 30% chance of survival, but I won't reveal what I think is his one little lifeline that could save him. But anyways, next we get to your girl Jenny Silas 
or whatever her last name is. I think it's Silas. Whatever. Y'all know who I'm talking about. You see the bitch on the screen. Anyway, uh, she going to be super annoying this season. You can tell. She mad about her babe being killed. He told her it was Tariq who did it. So, she about to be, you know what I'm saying. I think her and Detective Carter might be working together, along with Blanca and all the other annoying, you know, law enforcement people. And me, me personally, I believe law enforcement will get a lot of W's this season. This is the season of golden hour for the law enforcement. They're, they're going to do some damage this year. And I think Jenny will possibly succeed at, re at revenge and, you know what I'm saying, avenging um, sex. I can actually see that going. Now, whether or not she survives or not, you know what I'm saying, whew, I think it's actually pretty tough for her. I, I honestly, I'm going to put her in 50-50 because I, I haven't really decided whether or not, you know, I think she's going to survive. Maybe I'll give y'all a full yes or no on her you know what I'm saying, character, her own individual character breakdown. But anyways, next, we're going to go to Big Mama, um, you know, Tariq and Tariq's grandma, Tasha's mom. And um, I know her character is not too big, so that's why, you know, she's kind of lower on the character list, but she's ahead of the other ones because she has been on the, you know, she has been on the show for what, 14 seasons coming up. So, I mean, just off that alone, you know, she got to go up a little bit. But me personally, uh, I actually, it's kind of crazy and it's kind of sad, I know. But I think Big Mama May could get taken out this year, this season. And my reason, my reason for it, I'm going to save it, like I told y'all, for her individual. But unfortunately, yeah, I think she could possibly get taken out this season. By who and how, y'all will have to wait to see. Next, we get to your girl, Blanca. So, Blanca also, I think, is going to be doing a lot of damage. And also, I know there was a leaked video, right? Uh, I don't know if y'all, you guys seen it, but I so happened to see it on someone. Someone posted it. And it shows like, it, actually it looked like um, your boy, uh, what's his name? Um, RSJ, a younger version of him, was killing her. But honestly, I think that was just, you know what I'm saying, a, maybe an older movie to where both of them was in or something possibly. Maybe. I'm not sure. But... Whether or not I think Blanca dies or not, I think Blanca's out of here. She's been around for quite a while. She's starting to get extremely annoying. Yeah, I think Blanca, I think your time has come, dear. Next, you got Obi. Now, Obi is, you know what I'm saying? I'm just going to throw it out there. I say Obi got a 90% chance of dying. That nigga's out of here. <laughs> Matter of fact, I raise his up to 95. I, I am pretty confident. Obi, your ass is out of here, my boy. You've been helping Tariq. Noma is going to find out. And I, who knows? It may get to a point where Tariq just decide. I mean, um, Obi just may decide to just cross her all together and just let Noma know, look, I'm riding with Tariq. Mm -hmm. And now, you know, Saka, you know, Tariq needs some allies in a way. So once Noma finds out, and okay, I'm giving y'all a slight spoiler of his character breakdown, but yeah, I think Noma gonna have your boy take taken out. So next, you get to your boy Junior, Junior Valdez, and I think he has a lot of story to cover this this season, y'all. Junior is gonna be y'all's wild card. It's going to be a lot, and I can't wait to do his his prediction video because it's going to it's gonna show y'all a whole lot. And I think it's going to reveal some, some you know, some very mind-blowing um, um, 
things that's going to be, you know, it's going to fulfill a lot of people's theories and predictions of what they thought. But like I said, I can't give it all the way right now. But he's going to, I'm telling y'all, he's going to shock y'all this season. But next we're going to get to your boy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Junior, definitely living. Uh, he's, I, I would say... 99% chance of surviving. Junior's not dying this season. So, next we get to your boy, RSJ. RSJ, I can see his his character moving a couple of ways. Um, whether or not he's going to die or not, I'm putting him... I think he's 50-50 too, honestly. Because, honestly, I can see him being a hero this season or he could become a villain, which it depends on which one he decides to be. But, um, you know, w- without bur- you know fully breaking down and telling y'all what I think of his character and stuff like that, you know, once again, it will be on the breakdown video. Next, you got Noma. So, Noma... Um, I think she's going to be doing some damage this season as well. She's, some bodies are going to get dropped messing with Noma. Noma, um, with this being, you know, book two's final season and her being the last, you know what I'm saying, villain, like major villain, they got to make her look really powerful. So I can see her doing a whole lot of damage, like she, a lot of, Body's gonna drop some, maybe some big characters is gonna die messing with Noma. But my prediction for Noma is, of course, you probably guessed it, she's gonna get taken out eventually. But before she does, she's gonna take down a lot of people with it. Next, you get to your boy Davis McLean. Now, to me, Davis McLean is one of the most challenging ones for me. For me to figure out because um, it's crazy because I, I just can't quite figure out his angle. Now, I do believe he did give a description that said he's going to basically be siding for, with whoever is going to be, you know, better, who's ever better fit for him. Like, you know, he's always been like that anyway, so that's really nothing changed. It's, you know, he's going to be battling dealing with the death of his brother, and then they said he's going to be having a pending suspension with uh, potentially getting disbarred. So, I see him doing a... And, oh, yeah, and then also said he's going to be showing, you know, going more to his criminal side. So, with him, I think he's going to be a double agent, right? He's going to be a double agent, and spoiler alert, I think Davis McLean will also be taken out because him being a double agent, whichever agent finds out that he's working for the other one, then eventually he's going to be a loose end, and they're going to take him out. That's my opinion on Davis McLean. Next, you got your boy, the OG, your boy, Oak Dog, a.k.a. Lorenz Tate, a.k.a. Councilman Rashad Tate. Now, I think for him, he's going to be rising to the top and he's going to be shining, thinking he got it all good. And before he know it, it's going to all come crumbling down. Because me personally, I don't see much left for his story. With this, you know, with book two ending, and like I say, I do believe there's going to be another spinoff, but I just don't see a direction that they can go and, you know what I'm saying, and take Rashad's character with it. So, you know, originally when they was first doing the spinoffs, it's supposed to be in a book five called Influence, but it was canceled. So with that being canceled, I just can't see them reviving it and then, you know what I'm saying, giving him his own spinoff. Or even possibly, you know, doing another spinoff and throwing his character in it. I just think his character is getting starting to get become played out. So, he probably will either get killed or locked up this season. And if I had to 
go ahead and, you know, bet my money on it right now, I would say he's going to get caught up for something criminal and get locked up. All right, now we're starting to get spicy. We're getting to the big characters, right? You get to your boy, Drew. Drew Tejada. So, as y'all know, he did some bullshit at the end of season three. It was messed up that he, you know, tried to get Monet killed, his mom. And then, on top of that, came up with a plan to try to get Tariq set up for it. Now, we all know how that thing called karma works. Especially in the power universe. Eventually, if you live by the sword, you're going to die by the sword. And it's going to come back to hunt you. Unless your name goes, maybe. But, anyways, he is obviously not ghost. And a lot of people are getting annoyed by his character, including me. So, I'm going to say, I think Drew is a 99% chance of dying. His ass is out of here. And I think it's going to be related to one or the two. Oh, I'm not going to get that away from y'all. I almost told y'all. Fuck that. <laughs> yeah, I do think he's going to be taken out. But it's going to be... Um, it's gonna, I do think he's going to be taken out. But I'm going to save that for how it happens. But yeah. So next, we're going to go ahead and move on to... His baby sis, Miss Diana Tejada. Now, same thing with her. You know what I'm saying? She did the same dirt. She was the other half of, you know what I'm saying, the basically the fall of the Tejada family. And I'm going to do a separate video on that on that as well. But um, my prediction for Diana, me personally, I think, she survives, people. I know a lot of people think she's probably going to be out of here. But yeah, I think she's going to survive. But the reason why I think she's going to survive, I'm not going to give it to y'all, of course. But I think she has a, I'll give her a 65% chance of surviving. Because um, she has a lot of, I think she still has some story left. And she's going to get some grace from someone. So, next, you got your boy, Kane. Now, Kane, whew, I think Kane was a little little challenging for me to figure out, too, because I, I see them being able, you know what I'm saying, he's one of those characters that I think is a strong enough actor that, you know what I'm saying, he can, he can possibly go and get in enough, another spinoff Maybe not, I don't know, being the, the lead of a, of a brand new spinoff, but, you know, definitely a ma another main character for a separate spinoff that may happen. So I do think, you know what I'm saying, Kane has story left to tell. And, you know, as it said, he's he's trying to become, get higher in the rankings of uh, in Noma's um, organization. And that sounds just like Kane who sounds just like something, you know, Tommy would do. So I think they may be shaping, uh, they could be shaping Kane up to be more like a Tommy-like character. We'll see. But, yeah, um, if I had to go ahead and get my opinion on it, I think, hey, I'm a, right now I'm going to say Kane, I'll give you a, I'll give you a 60% chance of surviving. I think Kane lives. Um, next, you get to Monet. Tahada, the head of the family, since she took out the real head of the family, which is your boy Lorenzo. So, same thing as goes applies to Drew. You live by the sword, you die by the sword, you do dirt to people, that thing called karma is going to come to hunt you. So, I think with all that's going on, and, and all the dirt she's done, the wickedness, I am abs almost absolutely certain Monet will be taken out. This is, she is falling this season. So, um, I will give, and, and I know uh, they said that it was canceled. I'm just going to address that also as well, that, that book two was canceled. But come on, they said they're going to have two halves. You really think, 
let, like let's lose let's use our heads, people. You really think that they're gonna have two a two part series, right? But it wasn't planned to be canceled. No, it was intentionally done this way, in my opinion. I think it was intentionally done this way. Now, it's been rumored that it's gonna be ten episodes the first half and ten episodes the second. And I can see that happening, you know what I'm saying? Or maybe they'll do ten and five like they did the original power. Either way, I believe it was intentionally done that way, but they fooled us like, you know what I'm saying? It it was supposed to be, um, it was just counsel to throw us off about something. What that's going to be, I'll address later on another video. But, yes, I think um, it was originally planned like that and Monet will be taken out. Next, you got your girl, Effie. I, me personally, man, I think Effie is one of the most mysterious and most difficult one to figure out of all the all the power for me, because she has she's such a mysterious character. Because you know you can tell she's always been hiding shit. It's something about her that it's like she always got another angle going. And for me to figure out whether or not I think she's going to be taken out, it was just, I just, it was hard for me to sit there and think on her. And I got to say 50-50 for her. And the reason being, I'll do on her individual video. But, yeah, I got to, because Effie, as you know, has also been doing a lot of dirt. But at the same time, I'm going to say this, and y'all may not agree with me on this, but I think each time Effie Slit did some dirt, she kind of had a reasoning for it. It was just for her own sake and for her own survival. Now, you can make a case and saying, well, that's how everybody did it. Well, not really, because what Drew did and what Diana did, you know, involving, I mean, you kind of can get why they did what they did with Monet, even though they're still your mom. But they had no reason to include Tariq in it. Tariq didn't do nothing to them. Like, they didn't, you're basically just sacrificing Tariq for your own personal gang, and that's just messed up. What Effie did when she, you know, set up Tariq and choked, she had a, she had a kind of good legitimate reason, in my opinion, why she did that. She had, she had a good reason why she tried to take Lauren out. She was trying to save herself and Tariq and everybody else. So, and then why she undercut Tariq with Noma. She kind of had a good reason for that. And it may, I don't know, maybe y'all think I'm sounding biased and stuff because I'm not really an Effie fan like that, but I, me personally, I just get why she did it. Not saying I'm cool with what she did, hell no. But I do understand why she did it. You know what I'm saying? So, I think... I think it's 50 50. And like I said, I'll, I'll give him a final prediction on her, on her, her uh, character breakdown on where I see her as going. But next, you got your boy, Braden Weston. Braden. His character is, mm, it's a little crazy because, you know, they said he's going to start dabbling into. He's going to find some kind of new habit or whatever, you know, that he's going to be into that's going to kind of raise Tariq's eyebrows. Like, I don't know, Glad nigga, you, uh, you might have to go. And with that being said, you know what I'm saying, I'm not going to say what I think is going to happen with Braden, obviously, because I got to say that for his own video. But whether or not he dies or not, hmm. I think, honestly, I'm going to say Brayden dies, people. Yeah. I don't think it's a super, super high percentage, but, yeah, right now I'm going to go ahead and, you know, slam down a little bit and say Brayden is out of here because I think whatever it is that he's going to be into is going to be a little too risky, and Tariq is too much like, you know what I'm saying, his dad, 
Kane and, and stuff like that. And then, you know, he got Monet's blood, too. I mean, not Monet. I said Monet. He has Rock's blood in him, too. And having, that's that's a hell of a gene. Hold on. He ain't got, well, I, he could have Rock's blood in him. I'm going to say that. Y'all, y'all, if you've been paying attention to my channel, you know what I mean. I ain't got to explain it. He could have Rock's blood in him, too. And if he do, that that's all you need to know, that, that know he's capable of taking Brayden out, if need be. So, next, we got another OG, y'all. Another OG. Your girl, Tasha Green St. Patrick. Now, it might be a little sad for me, or maybe not, but I'm just going to go ahead and put it out there. I think there's an 85% chance Tasha Green St. Patrick is going to be out of here this season. And I know I'm predicting a lot of deaths, right? <laughs> a lot of deaths. Hey, but I think this is going to be an explosive season. And, and and if it's true about it being 10 and 10, technically it's two seasons. So they got two seasons, you feel me, to do all of this. And I think in the midst of those two seasons, Tasha's going to be out of here. Probably the second half of it. But um, I just think she's been around so long. And I, you know how Tariq, I mean, Tasha is just such a mama bear for Tariq. And her kids, how she'll do and go to any measures to protect them. So I think with that being said, and how long she's been around, Tasha will be taken out. And it's sad. It's all right, baby. We, we, you served your purpose. I get you. But that's just my opinion. I think, I think Tasha will be out of here, people. Sorry. But, yep, that's how it is. And next, you're going to make it to your boy, Michael Rainey, Tariq St. Patrick. Tariq James St. Patrick. And a lot of y'all probably thinking, oh, ain't, so this is the last one. Well, nope. It's still another. It's still some left. Well, it's still at least one more left. But yeah, Tariq St. Patrick. He, he's kind of hard to find out, too, to be honest, because <laughs> I can see two different ways that this could play out. And it, it's going to kind of depend on whether or not it's some truth to them actually canceling the season out of nowhere and the other people didn't know about it. Or was that all just staged and, you know, and put out there to, you know, make us think one thing when they actually, you know, had it planned. And they're pushing it to another direction and they're trying to, you know, keep us on our toes. So, if, I'm going to say is if, I'm going to put it like this. If it's true that the show actually got canceled out of nowhere, I would say... 100% Tariq is living, right? Obviously, it got to be 100% because he's the lead character. You you can't have book two ghost without Tariq. And I'll, I'll also say the same thing when it comes to um, Brayden. If they actually counseled it out of nowhere, there's no way I can see them taking Brayden out. But if he if they actually planned it like this, then I think it's a possibility that Braden could die. So I'm gonna say it like that. But I'm gonna say more information for you know his individual videos. But yeah, so if for back to Tariq, if they was the um if they um if they really planned to have him to have the show canceled, I mean, it, if it really, um, you know, canceled out of nowhere, then he survives, of course. But if um, they actually planned it like this and they're just trying to fool us, it's a possibility that Tariq dies. 
It's either, it's either one of the two. Tariq can die or get arrested. And I would really love to get into that of how it happens now. But this video is already getting very long. And, of course, I got to save it for his individual video, which is going to be a very good one. So stay tuned for it. But now we get to the last and certainly not least character. And that is, I don't know, some of y'all may have guessed it. Your boy Ghost. Yes, sir. That's it. Your boy Ghost. And I am putting ten toes down. Ghost will appear in season four of Ghost. And I will say it is a 95% chance of it. I know a lot of y'all probably in there thinking, look glad that nigga, they might have been gone for five seasons. No, I was glad. Well, guess what? I don't give a damn. I'm going to say it. I think he's coming back. Because if you pay attention to Amari Hawkins, um uh, Instagram, he's all of a sudden talking more and more about ghosts. You think that he just doing that shit out of nowhere, look glad that nigga, just for the hype? Or oh, they just trying to fool y'all. Nope, look glad that nigga, so I don't think so. I think... He's getting ready to make a comeback, and it's the reason why they have an Origins coming out. And, yes, I'm going to go ahead and do because I probably won't do an individual. Um, I won't do an individual uh, video probably for Ghost because he wasn't part of Power Book 2 Ghost. So I'm going to just go ahead and give you a, a little teaser of what I think his character is going to is going to um, show. I, I guess it's just going to be, and I think he's going to be very brief. I don't think he's going to be very heavy. And he's not going to show up until probably the end of this season of Book 2 Ghosts. But when he does show up, um, my prediction of it is Tariq is going to feel like he's won. Everything's going to be going well. And the ghost is going to show up and show him, nigga, I told you you're not smarter than me. And he's going to pretty much lay all the cards down, letting him know, nigga, I don't, you know, I've been in control the whole time. And you, you, you know what I'm saying? And I know I did a video saying that Tariq and Ghost planned it together. They could still have done that. Keep in mind, most of my videos, what I'm doing, unless I say this is directly what happened, that means it's all hypothetically, you know what I'm saying, it's speculation. It means that, you know, it's a possibility of it. Now, I do still think it's very much a possibility that Tariq and Ghost planned that, that death, but it could have not. It could have been Ghost just planted on its own. Either way, Ghost is still alive. But um, I believe that, you know what I'm saying, he's going to show up, and then if, I'm going to say this, if Tariq survives, and let's say he doesn't die or go to jail. Well, actually, this can still happen if he goes to jail. But if he doesn't die, I can see Tariq, you know what I'm saying, getting ready to possibly maybe leave the game after since he got his success, he got the money and all that. And Ghost have a talk with him and tell him the reason why he didn't want him in the game. Because remember, if you can remember uh, the original power, right? The original power where season five, episode five, actually, it was uh, the episode of Tariq's birthday. The episode was titled Happy Birthday. Um, he said, you, uh, Ghost was talking to Tariq in the car after picking him up from Choke, and he was like, your mom told me about you, you guys' conversation. And he was talking about they past, right? And he said, "Was and Tariq replied, was it true? And he said, well, that's your mother's version of the truth. One day when you're a little older, I'll give you my version of the truth, right? You remember that? So I believe Ghost is going to sit Tariq down, whether it's why Tariq is in jail or... Let's say he survives and, and um, they're sitting down somewhere else. Maybe even at truth, at truth. Possibly that could be him walking through that, you know, who the figure we seen coming behind him on the teaser trailer. Maybe that was him coming to him then to tell him this story. But I believe he's going to tell Tariq 
his story of how he came up with Ghost, Tommy, and Canaan, right? As, as he's Ghost, obviously, but you know, his story. And I believe that will lead to the spinoff of Ghost of Power Book Five Origins. That's how it's gonna do. They're gonna they're gonna use him telling the story, and it's gonna transition over to Origins. So I believe that's how it's gonna happen. Origins is gonna be a whole story told by Ghost. So I think he's gonna narrate. Now I did hear that. You know what I'm saying? They're saying that he's going to be playing his younger self. I think that's a little crazy because, um, you know, even if he shaved and all that, he still wouldn't look like he's in his 20s. I just can't see that. Now, maybe with this new uh, AI intelligence, you know, possibly they could, you know, use some AI, CGI, um, and make him look younger so they can possibly do it. That is possible. So... I'm not going to completely throw it out there, out, but I think, um, you know what I'm saying, either way, he's going to be narrating it, and either he's going to be narrating it and, and while also playing them, or he's going to be narrating while a younger actor plays, you know, him. So either way, I think it's going to transition over to Ghost telling Tariq the story of how he came up, and that's how we will get origins. So, I know this is a very long video, the longest video I ever did, but hey, like y'all said, y'all wanted one long video, even though you're still going to get the individuals as well. But yeah, so I, I had to do it like that. Sorry, and, I, and a big shout out and thanks to all of y'all who's making it through this entire long ass video, I get it. But, um... Yeah, that's what I got for y'all, but so, you know, like usual, if you're cool with me, fool with me, man, go ahead and hit that like, subscribe, comment, let me know what you're thinking, but most importantly, what do you do? Oh, yeah, you share with your wig glad friends, but until the next video, I'm out.